Do you feel tired all the time? Do you just wish you had enough energy to get everything that you need to get done in the day? I have picked myself out of low energy moods, low energy periods, lethargy, laziness. I've managed to take myself out of these states many, many times. And I know exactly what you can do to make sure that you can squeeze the juice out of life and make the most of it. Now, the first thing that I wanna share with you is a bit of a mindset shift, and it might be frustrating and annoying to hear, but literally hear me out. You have to decide that you're an energetic person. And what I mean by this is that, like, think about all the people that you know have high energy levels. How many times throughout the day do they complain to you or do they say, I'm tired? Or like, I can't do this. Or like, I just feel exhausted. Think about how many times they say that. And now think about how many times a lazy, lethargic, low energy person might say that they're tired. Now, this is obviously common sense because a high energy person is definitely going to say that they have a lot more energy than someone that feels like they don't have a lot of energy. But like, think about it like this, right? Maybe you feel like you don't have enough energy or maybe you feel like you're tired all the time because you just simply repeat to yourself in your head and in your mind that you're, that you're just tired all the time, that you don't have enough energy for this or for that. And so when you subconsciously convince yourself that this is how you are and this is how you're meant to be, then that's obviously gonna dictate how you act in the real world. How we talk to ourselves directly influences how we think and how we behave. If you tell yourself that you're tired, you are very likely to engage with a lot of activities throughout the day. However, when you tell yourself that you're energetic, then you're very likely going to be doing more things. It's just naturally just how it works. I remember when I internally made this shift and for the most part, it made a pretty big difference, but there were other things that I needed to fix. For example, my sleep. And that's the next thing that I wanna share with you. One of the biggest changes that you can make with regards to sleep is making sure that you do not oversleep. I remember there was a time when I was getting like nine and a half to like 10 hours consistently. And I don't think I've ever felt more lazy and like lethargic during the day than I did during that period when I was getting that much sleep. Now, obviously we know sleep is incredibly important and you should be getting between seven to eight hours. If you're a grown adult, if you're a teenager, you need like 9.25 or something like that. But like, obviously like, you'd want to be making sure that you're getting enough sleep because I'd rather you be in all honesty oversleeping than like sleeping for like four hours. But you want to kind of find the sweet spot for you. For me, it's like almost exactly eight hours. Like if I know, I know if I get like eight hours and I'm like really good to go. One of the best and most important changes that you can make with regards to your sleep is making sure that you wake up at the same time every single day day because this is going to make sure that your body has a consistent circadian rhythm that it can follow. This is not only going to allow your brain and your body to like adjust to that certain time period that you've set yourself, but it's also going to allow your body and your brain to start feeling tired at the appropriate times later on in the day and in the evening. The third thing I want to share with you is making sure that you do not overeat. A recent post from Andrew Huberman, professor of neuroscience and ophthalmology at Stanford University, he said this, it doesn't matter what you eat. If you eat too much of food, you'll be tired. It's called blood flow diversion. Eat to 85% full and you'll avoid this source of fatigue. So naturally, if you wanna avoid feeling like lazy and like lethargic after eating throughout the day at any point during the day, just don't eat until you're like absolutely full. Of course, there's gonna be times where you'd be doing that, but if you really wanna maximize your energy levels throughout the day, you just wanna to eat to like I would say personally for me, it's like 75 to like 80% like fullness. If I get to 85, even then it's like, like I, I get a little bit of a dip in energy, but if I eat around about 75 to 80%, then I'm like ideal, like ideal energy levels. Another thing I wanna share with you is around caffeine intake. Now in the form of coffee or tea, you don't want to be having caffeine as soon as you wake up because you're very likely going to get a massive dip in the afternoon. Instead, you wanna delay it between 60 and 90 minutes of waking. Now you might be one of those people that like you kind of need like coffee in the morning to wake yourself up. Otherwise you're gonna be like a dead, a walking dead zombie and like literally gliding through the morning and trying to, trying to make yourself this coffee and like just drink it and all of a sudden that makes you feel awake. Like if that's the case, then I'm, I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but you're gonna have to kind of get used to this routine of having coffee or like tea or whatever between 60 to 90 minutes of waking, that'd be ideal. Now, if you do happen to be one of those people that need a coffee first thing in the morning to wake up, then a good substitute for that is getting outside and getting some sunlight. If the sun is up and it's bright, five to 10 minutes will do. If it's cloudy and like overcast, then you need about 25 to 30 minutes. 
Animals kind of have this instinct built within themselves to like naturally go outside and just seek a bit of sun. And like for us humans, for some reason that just doesn't happen. We kind of have to put it in our routines. But getting sunlight in the morning is probably one of the, one of the best things that you can do with regards to sleeping, wakefulness, and like just circadian rhythm and like feeling tired throughout the day. Like I've done this personally for like the past month and it's probably been one of the best things that I've ever implemented in terms of Everything that I implemented with regards to energy levels and like feeling awake and like energized throughout the day, just getting like sunlight in the morning and the afternoon has just been one of the best things for me. And I've like, personally, I have also felt like a lot happier. Now, obviously when you're doing this, you don't wanna be looking directly into the sun, right? Like you just wanna kind of just be outside absorbing that sunlight, like, just don't look at anything that's gonna feel painful or like hurt your eyes. You can look through like eyeglasses and whatnot, but I wouldn't be wearing shades or looking through a window. You wanna get outside in direct sunlight. Now, even though I've shared these five things with you, you may still feel like you don't have enough energy throughout the day. And that might mean that you're not getting enough rest. Believe it or not, sleep is not the only rest you need. In fact, there is seven different types of rest that you need. If you wanna know what they are, I've made an awesome video on it right here. You can check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.